Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do various different strips of paper and material to create your weaving project. So as you can see, I am cutting a piece of cotton material and I didn't even cut this one very straight and that's something you're going to want to decide. Do you want your um, project to be very symmetrical where each strip is the exact same size or do you want it to look roughed up on purpose? Um, as a reminder, this is the example that I showed you yesterday that I did and I've ripped all the pieces, but I kind of like that look, but I know some people absolutely do not. Um, so first thing I'm going to show you is how to take regular fabric like this and make it stiff and textured. So here is an example of one that I already did today that's dry. Um, and what we're going to be using is a mixture of half glue, half water, and it's just like white Elmer's glue. Um, and I did not measure it. I just kind of put it in there and stirred it up and it's fine. Here is a paper towel I did. So you don't even have to have fancy stuff at your house. A paper towel works out great. And there was like a tiny little bit of red in the paintbrush that I had mixed with the um, glue and water and it turned the whole thing pink. So that shows you how you can easily change the color. Um, I know there was definitely a time when we were having trouble finding toilet paper and paper towels, but I think everybody's good on that again. So you should probably be able to get your hands on a Kleenex or something so that you can do this if you want. And you can see how hard it is. And it was super easy. Um, here is this piece of paper. And all I did was take a little tiny bit of coffee grounds, like coffee grinds, like, you know, a fourth, maybe like half a teaspoon, a fourth a teaspoon. I mean, you can't really mess it up. It's just gonna get darker. I put it in the mix, stirred it up, dipped it in, and voila. So you can see the difference there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. It's like I said, super easy. Let me get these out of the way. Okay, so and what I've been doing is putting the um, finished piece on a cookie rack which your mom may or may not be into. So if she's not, like, just find somewhere you can lay it down and it's not going to matter if a little bit of glue gets on it. But also Elmer's glue is washable, so that part's nice. That's why I'm using a cookie sheet. And I'm just going to take this material through like this, making sure I get it all soaked well. And then I'm just gonna go like this. If you've ever made a pinata before, this is what you do with the paper when you're doing the paper mache. You just wring it through your fingers like that. And then I'm gonna lay it down and just kind of slightly mess with it so that it's not perfect looking. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could use coffee grinds on this. Let me grab some so I could show you. Get some of this stickiness off of my fingers real fast. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the coffee that I have and this little like coffee sticks. And like I said, you can mix it straight into the um, mix that you've made, but you know, you might not, if you're gonna use it for multiple things, you might want not want it have to make multiple amounts, so I'm just gonna put like a little bit right here. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of water on my finger, and you could also probably use a paintbrush. And I'm just gonna kind of rub it in. And see how it changes the color? And you know, so you could hit it in different spots. You, you know, I like things distressed, so I would probably just go and do it in lots of different areas. But that is a super easy way to color your material and also your paper. You could do the exact same thing with paper. If you're using uh, printer paper, you might want to do more like what I just did here where you're doing a little here and a little there so you're not getting the whole paper wet because it's not gonna hold up well. Okay, so that's how you're gonna do. You know what, let me show you a piece of paper towel too. And 
I don't know if this will happen this time or not. So you can, I'm gonna sh tear this paper towel. And you can, so this is like one of the ways you can make your strips of paper. And if you're gonna tear it, you want both sides to be torn because it needs to look kind of similar. And then I'm gonna tear the end, okay? So it looks pretty good to me. And then I'll show you how I got that last piece of paper towel colored. And I just had like a tiny bit in my uh, brush, but I'm gonna try to make it look significantly more colored. Okay, so again, just watercolors. And I mean, I'm sure you could probably come up with lots of things. You could probably use Kool-Aid if you wanted or any of those like drink mixes or, you know, like Propel or any of that kind of stuff. All right, and now I'm gonna put it in here. Now this soaked up a lot more last time. Fortunately, my paper towel, I have more stuff in the container, but see how I'm having to squeeze it out? That's, you know, the whole point of a paper towel is that it's absorbent, absorbent, so. Now I'm going to lay it out. And then, voila. And then you can also go back in on top of it if you want with your watercolor. And you can put little bits to like vary it and add some like visual interest that I think is really pretty. And like this is, if this is gonna look impressive when the whole thing's put together and you can see this is like super easy. Yeah, okay. All right, so that's it for this video. The next video, which is still for Tuesday, is going to be on options for coloring regular paper. All right, thanks guys.